Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we have our Lewis acquisition here on our sales floor, a 1951 Chevrolet 3100 half-ton pickup truck. Big thing about this, it's the five window design. Oh, you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're gonna do a cold start. We're gonna do a walk around, give you all the details of this really nice original pickup truck. Needless to say, this you can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to our website and the information on this particular truck, pricing and the likes. Remember our website being www.ellingsunmotorcars.com where we have over 100 additional vehicles currently on our sales floor. Take a look at that stuff. I'll tell you what, we probably have your dream vehicle sitting right there on our sales floor. Give us a call, 763-428-7337. And that's what you do if you wanna get the information on this 51 Chevrolet pickup. But right now, let's give you the details right here in our video. Of course, 1951, it was kind of a transition year because they called it the advanced design after the war. Chevrolet came out with this kind of a design in their pickup trucks and it went over really, really well. They carried a lot of these ideas moving forward all the way up into the first series pickups in 1955. But you know, the nice thing, there's a few little added features to this given truck that I really, really like. Of course, like I said, the 235 inline six, great economy thrift master engine. Man, lots of people use those. These were trucks at this time were very utilitarian. They were used, they were used on the farm. They were used in business. This particular one has the three on the tree for the manual transmission, but it's just really, really a well-preserved one. That's the one thing we find, trying to find a good all steel pickup truck from this era because they were used, like I said, in the commercial and whatnot. To find a nice one is really getting kind of special. Now, they didn't have much for amenities in terms of what you could get for these things. I mean, didn't have the power steering, power brakes, but you know, they have that big steering wheel, which really helps. I do still like the fact that it has the old black wall tires, beauty rings, and the Chevrolet center caps. I think that is just really, really makes this look just like what the guy who went down to buy this at the Chevrolet dealer probably would have done. There's one thing you'll notice right away though. Look at that, there's an antenna. Someone stepped up the program and ordered an AM radio on their pickup truck. Isn't that kind of a special thing, needless to say. Beautiful color, Seacrest green, just really is reminiscent of what they are. The running boards, of course, would be black and whatnot, that would be correct. Chrome bumpers, chrome rear and front, which is another you know, very optional type thing that they had in those days. And the grill is even chrome in this thing. Really, really nice. Let's just take a closer look at the inside of this neat deal. Look at this, vent windows. There was a big improvement for 51. They wanted to have the vent windows because they got rid of the vents that used to be down on the sides here and whatever. This has replaced that. So you got nice airflow in a pickup. Of course, there was no such thing as air conditioning in 1951 in a pickup. So that was a really nice thing. Look at the interior. Now this is exactly the way you would have seen this truck when it was ordered. You know, the dash matches the truck, the vinyl seat, bench seat, three people can sit in it very comfortably, needless to say. And like I added, even has that radio. Isn't that cool? Look at the headliner is nice in this truck as well. But you know, the, these were really a neat addition. The five window is just really neat. Gives you better visibility. When I had that, just that middle one, it kind of was a little tight spot to see. This, this is one of the improvements that Chevrolet really put forth when they did this particular truck. Has the uh, rubber mats in there. I mean, that's, that's what you did when you bought these work trucks. And if you look at the in, at the bed, beautiful wood bed. I mean, that was still what they used in those days. Nice wood bed, beautiful uh, tailgate with the Chevrolet emblem on it. Really in nice shape. Single exhaust, of course, but you know, they have the black running boards. It's nice and handy for getting in and out of this truck. Whatever is really slick. No, it's one of those old trucks that, you know, a lot of people like the stock stuff and that's kind of what Ellingson Motor Cars, we have a lot of that kind of stuff. And that's why you're looking at this video as, you, as we speak. 
Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even TikTok. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. It really is something good. You'll be able to find the information on this truck, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, some of the cars and trucks that we've sold over the last several years as well. But you really wanna make sure to go to our website, ellingsunmotorcars.com for our current inventory. That is really an important thing that I really have to stress, if you will. Well, I'm looking at this. This is such a, uh, an original type truck all the way around. It is just really, really neat. The black wall tires, again, something I really personally like. Now, if you're like me, you're going to say, Scott, I really like the videos. They're great. You know, you do the cold start. It shows the engine compartment. We show you all the details, whatnot. But if you're like me, come on down. We're happy to have you come to Ellingson Motor Cars. Uh, we are open to the public Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. It's always one of those things, make sure we fit in the truck, whatever. <clears throat> there are certain reasons that we have to do that. They don't have such things as tilt steering back in 1951 in a pickup. It's just one of those things that maybe it's your first old truck. Maybe it's your first old collector car. You know, you know, we're here to assist you in any way we can. You're going to say, well, I live in California. How do I get this vehicle out to California? Well, we have several sources to get cars shipped anywhere in the United States, and for that matter, any place in the world. So we can assist with that. Well, I don't really know how you, do you, can you finance one of these? How do I go about that? We also have several venues and vendors that we deal with that are familiar with the collector car market, and they're the people that we can lead you on to, and they can help you get that kind of stuff done. It's just one of those all service shops that we have. We have all that kind of stuff. You know, it's nice to have the, you know, someone like us as a uh, licensed bonded dealer in the state of Minnesota. We go over it, we do our inspection, we check stuff out, try to do our very best, get you the best product possible. One of the main reasons why you want to buy from someone like us rather than somebody, you know, off the street that you don't know, you can find us. Remember where we are in Rogers, Minnesota. Well, with that being said, the only other thing I would always suggest if you have a vehicle of this sort, a pickup truck or a car or whatever, join that local club, the national club or the local club. There's always somebody in there that can uh, you know, have the same interests as you do and it's something that uh, we always highly recommend when you have an old car. Well, with that being said, I wish to thank you for watching our video today. It's really a, a pleasure to have one of these nice original old trucks on our sales floor. It's not gonna last long. It could be in your garage tomorrow. Give me a call, 763-428-7337. Thank you and see you next time at ellingsonmotorcars.com.